Great. So this exercise is to help us get your shoulder to be able to fall back towards the table like this. This is a challenging position for the shoulder as it combines several planes of movement. The way that we're going to start is we're going to use the assistance of the cane. Notice that my elbow is propped up on a small towel roll to make sure that I have good congruency and comfort at my shoulder. I'm then going to allow the cane to drift my arm back. Okay, and this would be my end range of motion. I know that it's my end range because I feel some stiffness and tightness, but not pain in the shoulder. When we're rehabbing up a painful shoulder, we may need to come out of our end range in order to be successful. So I drop back into this 90-90 position. Okay. Notice the vector of the cane is up over top and pushing my hand down and back towards the floor. Okay, there's gonna be four phases associated with this exercise. Phase one is resting, four seconds in, eight seconds out. Notice that my knees are bent and my feet are flat, and as I exhale, my rib cage becomes depressed, meaning it drops down like this. I'm not extending through my back. Phase two is what's gonna happen is with my right arm, I'm gonna try and do this. I'm gonna try and force pressure into the cane, but I'm gonna hold strong with my left hand so that there's not actual any movement it's just a lot of muscle contraction and fighting with my right arm. So I'm pushing along the axis of the cane back towards my left. I do that gradually for 30 seconds. Then after that, for 30 seconds, I try and pull the cane further. Not with my left hand, but with my right hand, I actively engage the muscles in the back of my shoulder, pulling it towards the floor. Big breath in, big breath out as I fight for more range of motion. And then phase four is I relinquish that contraction and I just go back into my breathing pattern four seconds in, eight seconds out, allowing my shoulder to relax into the new range of motion. Again, four phases. Phase one, I'm stretching with the cane. Phase two, I'm contracting. I'm trying to push into the cane with my right hand holding strong my left. Gradually, incrementally adding up the pressure that I'm able to produce, but not painful. Phase three, I'm actively with my right hand pulling the cane back. And in phase four, I'm relaxing the shoulder completely and breathing into it, really hitting save on a new range of motion that I've just achieved. 